Welcome, my name is Mr. Sunarin, and today's lesson will look at what does a number of groups represent in a number sentence about division. Before we get into today's lesson, we're going to do a little bit of review of division. In division, let's say if we have the example 56 divided by 8 equals 7, the 56 represents the dividend. This is the number that is being separated into smaller groups. The eight is the divisor, the number of groups that the dividend is being separated into. And seven is the quotient, the answer to a division problem. Now we're ready to go into today's lesson. In this problem, there are eight lollipops to be divided into two groups. Circle the groups to show the number of lollipops in each group and take and pause the video and see if you're able to answer these questions. Okay, so now we're going to move into this problem. So when we're dividing, there are eight lollipops to be divided into two groups. This is how we can separate the two groups separate the lollipops into two groups. And notice how in each group there are equal number of lollipops. So here we see there is one, two, three, four. Here there is one, two, three, four. So therefore each group has equal number of lollipops. Now we can fill out the rest of the information. We know that there are two groups. The size of each group is four and therefore eight divided by two equals four. Now we're ready to move on to the next problem. In this problem, Rachel has nine crackers. She puts three crackers in each bag. Circle the crackers to show the number of bags Rachel makes. And what I want you to do is pause the video, see if you can circle the number of crackers, and see if you are able to answer the and fill in the blanks for these problems. Okay, we're gonna move on to the next part. So for here, I was able to circle, or in this case, put a rectangle around each of the crackers. So we know that Rachel has nine crackers and she puts three crackers in each bag. For the rectangle, the rectangle will serve as each bag. So here in this rectangle, I have three crackers. Here I have another three crackers, and here I have another three crackers. So each of the rectangles are in the bags. There are three crackers in each. Okay, so if we're writing a division sentence, we have nine divided by three equals three. There are three groups. The size of each group is three. Okay, we're going to move on to one more problem. In this problem, we're going to be dividing 10 stars into five groups. Here there are 10 stars, and we're going to divide it into five groups. Over here, there are some fill in the blanks. So feel free to pause the video. Think about how you are able to divide each of the stars into five groups and fill in the blank. Okay, now we're going to move on to the next part. Okay, so in this problem, we see that if we're dividing 10 stars into five groups, I put circles around each of the groups. So if we count, there are one, two, three, four, five groups, and each of the groups have two stars. So this group has two stars, this one has two stars, here there's two stars, and these two each have two stars. So we can start thinking about answering the question, how many groups are there? So there are five groups as seen in these circles. There's five circles, there are five groups. Each size of the size of each group is two, therefore there are two stars. And if we're 
And if we're creating a division sentence, we have 10 divided by 5 equals 2, where 10 is our dividend, 5 is our divisor, and 2 is the answer, also known as the quotient. So hopefully this was helpful, and have a great day.